in this video, the reverse list method in Python. So I wanted to start this video with a look at the docs. And we can see up at the top here, we have list.reverse. And reverse takes no arguments. And the description here says that it will reverse the elements of the list in place. What I want to hi highlight here from this description is actually the wording in place. So in place is super important. And we're going to take a look at that uh, when we start running uh, reverse on some lists. So let's do that. Let's open up our terminal. Let's open up our Python shell and let's start working with lists. So the first list we'll make is a simple a equals, uh, let's say one, two, three. And we can apply that reverse list method as such. We can do a dot reverse passing no arguments to it. We can run that and we can see that our list has been reversed and we now get three, two, one, uh, whereas before we got one, two, three. The next thing I want to mention is that reverse is not going to sort that list for you. So let's say we had a list that was just out of order in terms of the numbers, right? So if this was to be sorted correctly, it would be uh, one, 10, 100, I believe. Well, reverse is not going to do that. Reverse would reverse that for you. Uh, so instead, I think you, someone who wanted to sort it would want to do a dot sort, and that'll sort that one to 10. So sort and reverse are different things. So the next thing I want to talk about, and this is going to be the most important aspect of the video, and that is what I call sorting in place. So we talked about it briefly earlier uh, in reference to the docs, and the doc says that uh, this list method will reverse the elements of the list in place. So what does in place really mean? So let's look at a very simple, very concrete example. So again, we'll bust out our simple one, two, three list, right? So we have one, two, three. And first I'm going to show you what it looks like to sort in place, which is using the reverse list method. So when we do our a dot reverse, when we access A again, uh, we get three, two, one. So A has been permanently modified. Uh, a is now three, two, one, for sure. You'll also notice that A dot reverse didn't return anything. And I'll show you that it doesn't return anything either. If we do A equals A dot reverse, when I access A again, uh, there was no value returned because A is now equal to none. And we can check the type of A and see that it is now a none type. Because when you modify the list in place with the list method, uh, it returns none. So what I want to do next is actually uh, set A back to 1, 2, 3. And I want to show you what it looks like to not sort in place. Okay, so when you do not sort in place, there's a couple ways that we could sort a list in a way where we're not sorting it in place. So one would be with the slice notation and we could do it like so. So here, what's being returned is three, two, one, but when we access A again, we get one, two, three. So A has not been permanently modified. A is still one, two, three. It just happened to return three, two, one, uh, you know, when we ran this command. And there's another one that people often do and you wanna wrap a list around the reversed built-in function. So this reversed built-in function is a built-in, it's distinct from the reverse list method, um, and it has you know an extra letter here. So they're different. Anyway, so we can pass A to it, and we return three, two, one, but when we access A again, it's still going to be one, two, three, okay? So when we ran this command, uh, it returned three, two, one, but it didn't actually modify uh, our original value. And of course, if we did a dot reverse, now that didn't return anything, but when we print out a, we get three, two, one. So a has been permanently modified. So I guess one way you could put it, and let me just clear the screen here. So one way you could put it is that sort in place uh, modifies uh, the original. All right, so it modifies the OG. And then uh, the not sort, <laughs> not sort in place does not modify the 
original list. Okay, so fair bit of text here, but I hope that is clear to you. So the question you really want to ask yourself when you're saying, should I use the list method or should I use a different way to, uh, to sort this list, to reverse this list, you want to ask yourself, do I want to sort in place? Or another way to ask yourself this is, do I want to modify the original, right? So those are the questions you want to ask yourself. And if you do, then you can use a dot reverse or in other words, the reverse list method. So I hope I cleared that up for you guys. And once again, thanks for watching.